Hello everyone, it's Max with Reductions back and today we are looking at the next kit built engine of the Great Western Tank Engine. I hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, it's Max with Reductions back and today, like I said in the intro, we'll be looking at the next kit built engine, which will be a Great Western Tank Engine. Now some of the engines, um, um, kit built engines that I will review, like the Great Western Coffee Pot, um, I don't know the classes of because I'm not that big of an expert and I just I just don't know what this is really. Um, yeah, I, I'm quite confused. But anyway, tell me in the comments below if you know what it is. Anyway, let's go on to the details. So this side has most details. It has a toolbox. It has pipe work along the side. Lovely whistles. Ow, the sharp anyone gets this um our sprung buffers love that they do make a weird sound you can hear it um anyway as you can see on the bottom that is kit built approved kit built approved and he's held in the front wheel with um, a little bit of metal the bunker has not got any cold details like the coffee pot but like the coffee pot that's okay it's got nice detailing on the cab, um, the cab windows on the back. Um, its number is 1196, Great Western Railway logo. Love the coupling rods. Now, um, how the kit builds run, this kit build runs really well, whilst the Great Western coffee pot doesn't run very well. If you haven't seen my video on it, you should go and watch it. Um, it's got that little thing, like top feed on the top of it. The boiler it's got a giant dome i wish this was um like a uh, silver or something like that um that that little uh, like dome thing whatever it is um should be brass colored too you can see the motor inside the cab sort of it's got um hand ra hand railing on the bunker sorry if you can hear my mum and dad talking in the background um it's got little knobs on the tank um the like the tap knobs you take them off and then you can fill it with water not actually but that's what you'd do back in um, when it was around copper chimney love it um the front details and the buffers i love it i love this model and like my last one they're all from lord and butler uh so this one's from lord and butler um before i go some updates on things which are coming in the future um we will have we will have a lion review after christmas because um i'm getting a hornby lion for christmas we will be doing a, another review on a um tank engine named beckett um yeah so we're doing a review on that engine too um that's the next one and yeah that's basically it we're also doing the bloomer review my cancelled videos um video was actually wrong um bloomer is having a review so yeah just some updates so i hope you enjoyed please subscribe to my channel and i hope you enjoyed this video goodbye